Welcome back to Anointed to Bling, everyone. It's your girl here, Rain, one more time with another wedding vlog series installment. This time we are talking about this cute little mini brooch vase that you see here in front of you. Those vases behind it, let's be honest, I miscounted and so I got a few extra glasses that I needed to do something with. But if you like those vases behind this one, there is a tutorial for how to make that one as well. Meanwhile, talking about this one, I decided to put those extra glasses to good use and and this will cost you about two dollars to make minus supplies at your local Dollar Tree so if you're interested in making this cute little mini vase please stay tuned for the tutorial coming up right at this moment Notice that I'm using just some short light bursts. I started deep within the glass with a couple of spritz and then worked my way out and around those outer edges. You don't want to spray too far into the glass uh, directly. You want short bursts, otherwise you're going to get a congregation of paint and a lot of dripping in that glass. And so when you get a nice coat on it, you want to set it right side up. I actually set these upside down and learned a tremendous lesson later after all the paint ran out of the glass. So don't do that. So the next thing we're going to do here is mix that epoxy. The instructions come on the package. You just want to squirt that out and take a tool and just basically mix that yellow liquid and that white liquid together until you get a good mix on it. And then once that is fully mixed, I'm going to just take that and I'm going to spread it onto the bottom of one of those glasses. Now for what I'm doing in this look, the uh, glass at the bottom is going to be clear, but it doesn't matter how you glue it. You can always turn it over. But what you want to do is just get a nice, even coat. Not a whole lot of glue, but enough to just spread over the bottom of that glass in a nice, thin layer so that the glass that you put on top of it totally adheres. If you happen to use too much glue, what you're going to notice is that the top glass is going to start to slide. So if that happens by accident, that's okay. Put the glass on top of it and you're just going to have to watch it and then hold it for a little bit, uh, which is what I ended up doing because as you can see, I didn't take my own advice and I used a little bit too much glue. So again, just remember a nice little thin layer and the reason I sprayed the inside of the glass is so that I could get that clear um, outside at the bottom of the glass I did not want that to be black so that's why I sprayed the inside otherwise you can spray outside just a little note so now that we've got these put together we're going to just let that dry so now's the fun part for me, the embellishment, which is often my favorite part. I'm using some extra bling strips that I had left over. And guess what I forgot to do, you guys? I forgot to go back and cut the strings off the bling. I never, ever do that. This is what happens when you do things at 3 in the morning and you come up with an idea in your head that you're trying to execute quickly because you want to see the end result. Nevertheless, if you make this project, cut those strings off and keep things neat. I don't think anyone's going to notice but me. And if they do, ah, well, I'm probably going to use these uh, just as some extra little decor. And I lost the clip where I affixed that cute little barrette. It was a little barrette that I had found at the flea market and took the uh, bobby pin part of it off. I used the E6000 on the back of the little brooch and some hot glue to the front of the glass to affix that and just held it until it dried in place. And I use both because the glue, will, the hot glue, excuse me, will help it dry quickly and the E6000 will give it a more permanent 
uh, hold to that glass because you don't want things falling off later. I really, really like the way these came out, mistakes and all. I think they're super, super cute. I would definitely make these again. Had some ideas from some for some larger brooches and some different colors. So I'll definitely be making more of these and uploading that to my YouTube channel when I get some time. If you make these, feel free to tag me. I'd love to see what you came up with as well. And uh, coming up are some final pictures of this look. I hope you like this little quick tutorial. Tag me if you make these, as I said. And until next project, be blessed. Remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you soon.